Hey, it's Steve Spangler from the Spangler Effect with another demonstration from the Spangler Lab. Take a look at this. It's the cloud in a bottle, the way it's supposed to look. Watch this. Here's the pressure, and now we release. Three, two, one. Bam. That is how the cloud in the bottle is supposed to look, or at least how I want it to look on TV, in the classroom, uh, on stage. That, in my mind, is a great cloud in a bottle. Now, I want to deconstruct the demonstration because the way I learned to do it and the way that uh, all of the original books show to do it is very, very different. So I want to show you how we get to this, but I think it's really important that you understand where we came from, okay? All right, so the original idea was this. You might have seen uh, a different variation of it. Uh, what we're trying to do is, in all of them, they need a little bit of moisture your inside. So it always starts with just a little bit of water. Okay, so a little bit of water. And then what you're trying to do is you want that to evaporate to some extent. So we're moving around inside. We're just we have a little bit of moisture that's inside, right? And so we want some evaporation and then we want condensation. So the air that we're going to push down inside is going to add energy to this, right? It's going to heat those molecules up, push more molecules inside. They're rubbing against each other, adding energy inside here that helps the evaporation. And then when you release the pressure drastically, then that condensation is supposed to turn into a cloud. And the way that you're supposed to do that is with matches. All right, so the matches are here, and you're supposed to now create um, some smoke. So here's, oh, good, so let's get this burning nicely. And then we just want to introduce the smoke into the bottle. All right, here we go. So here's our smoke in the bottle. Doesn't have to have a lot. Good, all right? So that, I'm going to put this on top so it just stays there for us. That is the setup. All right, so this part uh, is how we build up the pressure. We're using a hand pump, right, or a foot pump. We're using our hand to be able to pump it like this. And then if you come in and you take a look at this, this is kind of the secret. This is a valve stem that I got from uh, an auto parts store, and I put it through a rubber stopper. So that is the secret. That rubber stopper had to be shaved down a little bit, but fits perfectly into the bottle. So when this goes here like this, it stays in place. Got it? It will easily pop off, but it stays in place. And now, put my glasses on, and now I'm gonna hold this down like this and pump, and so now here's what we're doing. We're adding air, right? We're increasing the pressure. There's more air that's going inside. Um, I'm gonna look at the gauge here and make sure that I'm not putting more than about 20, 25 pounds of pressure inside. You sometimes can hear the bottle start to Crinkle just a little tiny bit. All right, so that's more than enough pressure. So now watch what happens. Three, two, one, we release. And that is supposed to be the cloud in the bottle. That is not at all what it looked like before, right? So while you do get a little bit of condensation there, it's just not drastic enough uh, and the effect isn't dramatic enough uh, that, uh, that it's exciting. So that's why we had to come up with a different variation. So this variation uses smoke and water. Remember, the new variation does not use smoke and it does not use water. And it's really, really important that we don't have matches or anything with this one because the secret to this one is rubbing alcohol. See, I chose 70% rubbing alcohol just because I knew that I could make that uh, evaporate faster. And I didn't worry about the condensation. I understand this part of the, the, uh, the premise here is that you've got particles in the air and the water condenses on those particles. <laughs> And, and you can definitely use this as part of the demonstration. I just wanted this to go faster and look a little bit better. And so the secret is just a little bit of that rubbing alcohol. So here's our 70% rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to spin this around. Now I'm going to do the same thing as before, but no smoke at all. You don't want to get any matches, anything near this at all. So our valve stem goes up here. We're going to do the same as before. We're going to increase the pressure. And then as soon as we release the pressure, those molecules are going to go from a high state of energy to a lower state of energy. Anything that's evaporated will condense, and that's where we're going to get the cloud. So watch how different the effect is here. So again, I'm gonna watch it carefully, make sure I'm not putting more than about 20 pounds of pressure in there. Oh, did you hear it? So you can start to hear it kind of pushing out. All right, here we go. I think that's probably pretty good. Watch this. Three, two, one, bam. 
and there's your cloud. Now watch, I'm gonna cap it back off again. So I've trapped the cloud in here, and now I'm gonna to continue to add pressure. Really kind of simulates the burn off of fog in the morning. Watch this. As we increase that pressure, look, fog starts to disappear, cloud vanishes, very cool. Look at this. So now we are back to the process again. Here we go. Three, two, one, bam, and there's our cloud. So if you've ever done a soda bottle rocket, many times you'll see that bottle in the air have kind of a white look to it and it comes down. You are getting somewhat of a cloud inside with those high pressures and again being released. But it's our version of the cloud in the bottle. The secret is a little bit of that 70% rubbing alcohol. Should give you a great cloud in the bottle every time. Please don't mix up the two. Uh, you can use the two as two different demonstrations to be able to show the variation, but it's, um, it's a new little twist and uh, hopefully one that you'll be able to use. As always, you can visit stevespanglerscience.com, see all of our uh, experiments in the laboratory, all the latest products over in the store side, and be sure to follow us on all the social media as well. Keep making science fun.